In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Lord Jesus, who suffered for us and by his paschal mystery redeemed us, be with all of you. Lord and Father, all holy, you willed that your son's cross should become the source of all blessings, the cause of all graces. Grant that we who on earth hold fast to the mysteries of his sacred passion may in heaven enter into the joys of his resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first station, Jesus is sentenced to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Then the whole assembly of them arose and brought Jesus before Pilate. They brought charges against him, saying, We found this man misleading our people. He opposes the payment of taxes to Caesar and maintains that he is Messiah, a king. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. second station, Jesus accepts the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him, weaving a crown out of thorns. They placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of his cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. It was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. By his stripes, we were healed. (laughs) Stumbling under weight so crushing, jeering crowds (coughs) upon him rushing, Jesus falls. The fourth station, Jesus meets his Mary, his mother Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who loved her. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother 
comforts her son, so will I comfort you. fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. As they led Jesus away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, I redeem the world. A faithful friend is a sturdy shelter. He who finds one finds a treasure. A faithful friend is beyond price. No sum can balance his worth. seventh station, Jesus falls again under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The watchmen came upon me as they made their sounds of the rounds of the city. <clears throat> they struck me and wounded me. They took my mantle from me, the guardian of the walls. I adjure you, daughters of Jerusalem, if you find my lover, what shall you tell him? that I am faint with love. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, 
it produces much fruit. You have opened up my life like a weaver to preserve the last bread. Like a swallow, I utter a shout of surprise. I move like a dove. Jesus, we Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. They brought Jesus to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. Seventh station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified Jesus and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Just The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three o'clock in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatanti, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. There between the earth and heaven, death appears in trouble. The thirteenth station, Jesus' mother and friends lower his body from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. There was a virtuous and righteous man named Joseph, who, though he was a member of the council, had not consented to their plan of action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea and was awaiting the kingdom of God. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. After he had taken, down, taken the body down, he wrapped it in a linen cloth. Come home, Jesus passed away. Look and see whether there is any suffering like my suffering.
the 14th station, Jesus' mother and friends lay his body in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, you redeem the world. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. My soul will be a rest in God alone, from whom comes my hope. Some believe the awful journey finishes all bleak and stone. Jesus rises in glory, victorious over death. As the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. Then the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus, the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, just as he said. Lord Jesus said, I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. Let us pray the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. My friends, we have given witness to the life-giving passion of the Lord. Let us go in peace, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.